Hey guys, welcome. This is Tipika from mytutorialrack.com. Now, before we jump into the whole action, let's go ahead and cover some theories. So the one of the most important thing that we are going to learn in this course is external services. Now, what are external services? Let's say you have your Salesforce org and you need to fetch the data from another system. And that data is can be employee data, for example. Let's say you have to fetch the data from a payroll system and that system is an external system and uh, within your Salesforce org you probably need to fetch the employee number, full address or salary, all that information you want to fetch inside of your Salesforce org. Currently what you probably will be doing is you probably are writing an Apex class and through that Apex class you are making a REST call if that API is a REST web service you probably are making a HTTP HTTP call to that particular system and then you are getting the data from the system and then you are using that data either you're storing that data or you're displaying that data on screen that is the process that we've been doing up till this point we are writing apex code and making a call out to that system but with the help of external services you can do all of that without writing a single line of code and you heard me right here without writing a single line of code you can make the call out to that system fetch the data and you can use that data for anything you want just like you made in http call out through your apex class so so through external service all this is happening behind the scenes so behind Behind the scene, you will see dynamic Apex classes being getting created. You are going to see wrapper classes getting created. All of that will happen. So what are external services? With the help of external services, you can integrate Salesforce with other systems without writing a single line of code. That is the power of external services. Now you will ask me, why do I even need to integrate Salesforce with other systems? There can be tons and hundreds of use cases where you are currently integrating Salesforce with other systems. For example, if let's say you have an app where people are buying products and they enter a credit card number, then you're going to deduct that amount from using that credit card. So basically behind the scene, you are making a call to those credit card APIs sending them the credit card number of the customer and in return they're giving you a response or you're deducting that. So the credit card services are being called from your main app, but you don't kind of notice anything because this is happening behind the scene, but it is happening. So all the different apps that you use in day-to-day -day life, they're making calls to the other external system. It can be a credit card application that you're calling, or it can be a credit check. So if let's say you are applying for a loan and they're asking you for your social security number, what is happening is behind the scene they are looking at your credit score and they are calling those APIs to fetch your credit score your FICO score and then based on your credit score they are going to approve the loan or they're going to reject the loan they are making that call to that credit check system the application and that is returning you a response and based on that you are making the judgment a lot of times you are automatically integrating with other services you just don't know what's happening behind the scene because from a business business perspective everything seems very seamless you feel like okay everything is hosted on the same platform but no you are making those call outs behind the scene similarly another use case can be related to checking eligibility for discount let's say you are part of some subscription and through that subscription you get some discounts now what discounts are available are dependent on what subscription you have so let's say you entered your member ID somewhere and then behind the scene it is going and fetching all your discounts discount eligibility and based on the response from that API you are going to get accordingly you're going to get that discount so you are integrating with other systems all the time so there is always a need of integrating Salesforce with other system and through external services you can connect Salesforce to public API's which are hosted on AWS or slack you probably can use external services to connect with Salesforce API's like MuleSoft or Heroku you can also use Salesforce external services to connect with more proprietary API's as well and all you can do without 
without writing a single line of code. Now you must be wondering, how do I do that? Hold on, we are going to do all of that. Just have some patience. We're going to discuss everything in detail and we are going to actually implement end to end in this particular course. A quick thing here, if you have not understood still what external service is, do not worry. Once we implement this whole end to end system, you will understand everything. So just have some patience. Before we wrap up, here's a quick one liner joke for you. What do you call an angry carrot? A steamed veggie. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it and I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care.